Good morning. I'm here to uh, do a video on my friend's uh, 2005 29 foot Wildwood RV trailer. Um, they dislike using Kijiji and dealing with people. So it landed in my yard yesterday and here we go. So it's got a new awning as of last July. I know because I picked it up at Leisure Days and a mechanic of ours, friends of ours, put it on. Um, the tires are a year or less old. I'll do a close up of them as we walk around. It's got a spare that's brand new. Um, I have it hooked up to just a simple, I think 15 amp circuit right now in my garage. I'll show you that as we walk around. Um, it could be run on a really, really light duty generator if you're off grid um, for the AC and that. Um, I don't have water here at the garage. Um, I don't have a hose. I have a well, but it's not hooked up, long story. So I may be able to <laughs> run a hose from a neighbor or two's way to get, just to show you the sink and everything works. Um, I'm not gonna be able to show you hot water or the sink working. Um, as of last year, everything worked. Um, it has a place for the propane tanks. They're in the back storage. They're of course empty. Uh, thanks everyone for that. And if I can, I'll drag my barbecue tank up from my place and we can at least try the, sto the stove top out. But we are gonna do a walk around. I'm gonna show you all the good. Uh, there's a little bit of bad. It doesn't leak, uh, which is a huge bonus, obviously. And um, we're gonna run the AC and the stereo and the lights, etc. So here we go. Um, We'll start at the front here. Yeah, it's got a good battery. Um, I can't verify if the lights work. I'll plug my truck in later and see. The brake lights definitely work because they were on when he brought it in here yesterday. Here's the battery. I believe it was bought last May. So it's about a year old. Um, here's the pop out. Inside dimensions are approximately 40 inches by 12 feet. Um, I should have probably opened the windows, but I didn't, I apologize. As we walk around, here's some lockable storage. I already have it open um, from like the last three videos that keep screwing up. Uh, you're looking at the, basically what we're underneath here is the uh, fold bed couch where it sleeps, in, I guess, two. Um, there's nothing in here, block of wood for a wheel choke. And like I said, it's just lockable storage. It's got a handy dandy little thing here. I want trailer guys, so I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, I'm not gonna lock it up right now. Mosquito screens, windows. Uh, here's the uh, end view of that uh, pull-out. Here's where the water should go in. <laughs> City connection. I'll try to get hooked up later, no guarantee. Um, here's your power supply. It's running under the trailer right now. I'll show you what it's hooked up to. Um, here's your uh, all your uh, tanks, I guess. Sewer, uh, wastewater, like gray water. Um, you'll see in the next compartment that we have a brand new uh, septic hose. The tanks are currently empty. Uh, there's probably a little bit of water in it because I washed out the tub yesterday. There was a bit of uh, residue from the um, winter antifreeze. Um, so there's a, a new plug cover on it that you need. And there's the uh, brand new hose and some hose clamps. Here we have the jack on the back. This one seems to be a little bit twisted. It is twisted. Imagine it works, but it probably dragged the ground at some point. Uh, the two on the other side are new. I'll show you that. Okay. Um, it is not absolutely brand new mint condition, but everything works. Um, doesn't leak. Here's the back of the trailer. Looks like you could probably use the bumper for storage. This side's missing the cap. Here is kind of a close-up. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy and boring you to death. The inside of that uh, brand new awning. <clears throat> we have a crack here on this glass. It's not broken. I don't know why they went so crazy with the duct tape. But, however, um, there is a crack there. It is not broken. The top, what you're looking at is an emergency exit and a window for the top bunk bed for kids or adults i guess um so here we have the storage area now the bottom bunk is obviously folded up for the storage area but when you get to where you're going you can pull it all out and fold the bunk down here are three empty propane tanks pretty useless but uh, a vacuum cleaner 
table. Uh, uh, shit, what's that called? Yeah, clothes drying thing, rack. Uh, handy dandy uh, toy fire truck. Here are your components, brand new for the uh, septic. You can see that's brand new. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, you got a plastic choke, extension cord, a couple of screwdrivers. Um, here's another. Here's another fitting. Here's a another fitting. That's probably what you you put in. You have to glue this on to put your uh, cap on for your your uh, your tanks. Here's the tires. Um, I'm gonna get as close in as I can. Uh, you can see they're good. The other side matches. These this these are. 205-75-R15. They're a six-bolt heavy-duty rim. Uh, brakes work. Here's the spare. Real briefly. You can see it's brand new. Um, six-bolt rim as well. Here's your power cord coming out. And you can see, I just have a like a really thin, uh, non-heavy-duty uh, extension cord run out of my building. And that's on the same circuit right now. You'll see once we get this fired up, um, I'm also running like 10 lights in my shop. Uh, so that's pretty good for one circuit. And so that's why I say you should be able to run this on a generator minimum. Um, here we have some venting. I'm going to guess that's probably for the stove top, but I don't know. I'm not a trailer guy. If you come and you have a pile of questions, um, bring a trailer guy. I don't really know much about them. Here we have your, uh, I believe that's the back of the hot water tank. Which we can't test because there's no water. Uh, it comes with a new anode. It's inside, you'll see it. Outside plugs. Uh, I don't know what that, that might be a uh, vent for the furnace. I'm gonna guess, I don't know. Uh, window, that's the kitchen there. Outside light. Here we have uh, probably one of the pictures you've already seen. It's got a uh, nice satellite, or sorry, uh, some lights, uh, solar lights. Again, I'll give you a quick shot of the inside of the, uh, it just looks blank, but there's no rips or anything in this this new uh, awning. Nice to have an awning, get out of the sun, go inside, door. Here's your mosquito netted, uh, door coming inside see if we can get some lights on in here sorry about that probably making you dizzy idea of this video is <laughs> not to suck and bore you to death but just to save you some time right um do a little walk around in here here's your uh fold up uh eating area i imagine that seats too there's your fold the bed um there are some random items here. If you don't want them, you don't have to take them. I don't care. Um, there's again some, we we're planning on going camping. So everything in here is clean, new. Um, there's nothing gross. Lights work. Let's fire up the uh, AC for you. So we're gonna go cool, on, high. And you can see the fan just fired up. It's gonna take just a sec here. I'm gonna actually close the door. The other door too. Shit. There. Come here. Come on. There. Yesterday when I had it running with the windows open and door, it was still cooling in here. So we're now getting cold air out of there. It's pretty sweet. Uh, bedroom. Mattresses don't have any gross stains. If it was me, I'd probably just go ahead and buy some new ones. I got a buddy actually that sells mattresses. Um, storage. This is obviously the master bedroom. I'm not going to open them all. There is nothing gross in them. Some some hangers you may or may not want to take down. Uh, here's the doors. I'll shut them up for you. There you go. 
right there. That's what it looks like. The door's closed. Here's a, uh, looks like a car, basically a car stereo. Somewhere I have a stick in my pocket. Should have already had it put in. Damn it. Um, that must be my garage. Uh, you have to take me at my word um, for now. Um, I'll turn it on. But it works. So actually, not a bad system. Is it a rock concert with Ted Nugent? No. But it's not bad. I had a USB stick stuck in there. Which I kind of like because you can put a pile of music on it. Um, more storage. Here's your uh, control for your in and out, which I'm not going to close it right now. You're going to have to trust me that it closes. Um, if you come and get it, we'll close it. Um, here's kitchen area. Uh, fire extinguisher. Lock for the uh, tongue. And your, for for the, the coupler. Here's a brand new anode. I believe that's for the hot wire tank. Nice heavy duty uh, tongue lock. So you get ripped off. Here's your sink and everything, which I cannot test. Nice clean cook stove, uh, stove top, sorry. Uh, microwave. Uh, I don't know why this isn't coming on. Um, lights on, fans on. I had this on yesterday. What the heck's going on here? Uh, my apologies. I don't know if there's a light switch or something I haven't pushed. Those are on. Anyways, uh, I had that the microwave running yesterday. It's clean. Um, it was working. Um, here we have kind of, uh, I guess, a uh, control center just to show you where you're at. Uh, right now, it's telling me the battery's at two, which isn't surprising. I had, I was running it on the battery uh, for quite a while yesterday before I had it hooked up. So it's telling you the battery's half full. Uh, fresh water tank is empty. Black water tank is empty and the gray water tank is empty. Kind of cool. Uh, more cupboard space. Uh, fridge and freezer. So this is now turned on um, with the electricity. Um, no, it's not. Now it's turned on. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, so that's turned on. It's on auto. Not sure why, but maybe that's just how it works. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I just heard something clicking, so it's on. Um, nice size freezer. <clears throat> Fridge. More storage. Uh, Tim Horton's cup tray hoarding, it looks like, going on there. Here's your uh, bunk area. I just turned the light on. I don't know if that helps or not. There you go. So it's a fairly skinny one on top. And you can see down here, I have my tape over there, but it looks like it's roughly three feet wide for the bottom one. I'll back up. There you go. Coming into the bathroom. There you go. Clean out cupboards. Uh, shower, bath. There was a little bit. Oh, there's some mosquitoes from last night. Um, there was a little bit of residue from the uh, antifreeze. Not a big deal. But I, I only had a mop with me, like a house mop. You know, this. I don't even know what kind it is, but... It was a crappy kind. I didn't get that much out. If I actually scrubbed it, I would have got the rest of that antifreeze stain out. And it's not toxic or anything. There's your toilet. Vent. Fan. Uh, there's, there's random vents throughout, it looks like here. Um, some big, bigger... Uh, storage space. It looks like it's probably at least three feet tall. You got some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, manuals for different uh, appliances in here. More storage. I'm I'm going to guess that that's uh, a heater outlet or, or vent or something like inlet to, to suck the, the, the cold air back in to go through the furnace. I don't know. Again, if you have a pile of questions, bring someone with you that knows about trailers because I don't. Um, I'll answer the sort of common sense ones, you know, but that's all I can tell you. There's a... Uh, Sandalier style light. It's missing one bulb, but it works. Uh, so here we go. This is what we got. Uh, if you think you might be interested, get a hold of me. Um, I don't really know what else to tell you guys. Uh, there's the winder for your antenna. I don't know if you need a satellite hookup or how that works. I'm not a trailer guy. 
I don't usually camp. I usually motel because I'm on my motorcycle or what have you. So there you go. I hope you're not bored to death. It's 15 minutes of your life. You're not getting back. And if I miss something, uh, please get a hold of me. And uh, if you think you're interested, come on over. Thanks. Bye.